Good morning and welcome to the Western Oval for the 1995 Division 1 Geelong District Football League Under-18 Grand Final. This is Ron Brain of Guest Video, special guest commentator this morning. Good morning, Barry Walker. Good morning, Ron. How are you? Good to be here. Mate, lovely to see you back after a couple of years off uh, through a little bit of uh, illness, but you're back on track. Ah, oh, yes, we're back to it. Uh, you can't uh, get football out of the blood, Ron. So it's a great game, isn't it? This it is a game great game. Great game here expected this morning as well as we see that um, uh, Karaya and North Geelong taking place in uh, what should be a crackerjack junior game of football here this morning. Yes, conditions are ideal for an early start to run a little bit overcast as umpire Munro holds the ball up to get proceedings underway. OK, we've got, uh, looks like uh, the big fella there, number seven, Guernsey for North Geelong, and Danny McCall has the uh, first touch of the leather in the grand final. We've got up to a teammate in Tajani, the little left footer, up to half forward. A ball spills through to Lockwood now. Can he pick it up? No, he can't. Now Carayo, kick it off the carpet, up to half forward. Fumbling the football there was McNamara, and I think you'll find it's out of bounds. In between half forward and centre wing on the outer side of the Western Oval. Good crowd in attendance too for the under-18 grand final. Yes, yeah, a very good crowd for an under-18 grand final as the ball's thrown in and a free kick has been picked out over there and it's gone against the big North Geelong Ruckman in uh, McCall and to be taken for Karaya on centre wing. A drop punt down towards the half-forward flank. They set themselves up high. No, we see it was uh, stranger for Karaya. He couldn't handle it. Over it comes a quick kick towards the goal there by O'Toole. Barry O'Toole being touched and rushed through for one yeah, behind. Baza wouldn't be too happy. Great that left foot snap at goal there and his teammate in the goal square tried to get a handle on it was Tony Rose had he let it go it would have been a certain six pointer for the score on the board off the boot of uh, the vice cap deputy vice captain in Bazaro Tool. North Geelong fullback now brings it into play but oh great mark in front the big ruck when Damien Dans I should say no it's number 16 Dave Nichols get it right Ronnie Nichols now long bomb up they go down she comes no one can get a clean handle on the footy Ground level now, Karai on opportunity, pushed in the back, no free kick. North now clear through the agency of Walsh. Little chip though, it didn't travel a lot of distance. Boys throwing themselves in pretty strongly at the leather. Both coaches before the game were very tough on the uh, uh, send-off rule, Bar uh, Barry, so they had to make sure that uh, you know the boys controlled their uh, temp uh, destiny as we... Uh, can't afford to be one man short. No, you can't nowadays. 15 minutes is a long game in junior football, particularly North Geelong from half back now. Kick towards the centre of the ground. Are they fly in the centre of the ground. Knocked to the ground there for North Geelong by uh, Trevor Insky or Asky. Uh, pick up for Karaya. Kick from the centre down towards half forward. They are leading here for the ball. North Geelong, well, it's knocked away from good back up though by North. Uh, loses a ball. In there hard for Karaya. We see is Alford. And the umpire's picked out a free kick Great. and it goes to Alford. Great uh, tackle there, Troy Rose on the big fella there, the big defender. And an opportunity here. Alan Alford, I'd reckon that might be the son of the coach, Jimmy. And uh, Jimmy had the boys pretty excited before the game, but it was controlled. Let's just see how controlled the young Alan is. The drop putt, it looks oh, good, good off good the kick. beauty. A beautiful good kick, good young kick. Alan Alford. Pops through the first six-pointer of the 1995 Division 1 under 18 grand final and Carayo 117. North Geelong yet to school. A very good kick there, Ron. Kicking from about 45 metres out and on a slight angle and a nice, well-controlled drop punt. And he made the distance quite easily. Yes, he certainly did, Barry. And as you said earlier, though, in the call, conditions perfect. Ground is a little bit rough and a bit bare in spots. Centre is a bit like an ice, ice skate. But uh, generally, no wind and there's no real wind advantage at all. The bounce of the ball in the centre, knocked down by McCall for North Geelong. Going through strongly, there was uh, Hurst because he couldn't control it for North Geelong. Tackle on a North Geelong player in the centre of the ground and we'll have a ball up. Who's your tip, Ron? My tip, I think Karaya will bounce back. They uh, were defeated in the second semi by four points. I reckon Karaya. Right from the bounce, it's go down. North Geelong going through strongly there through Tarjani. Gets the ball to half forward. Overrunning the ball there was Walsh for North Geelong. They're back in after it. Hard on the ground was Lockwood for North Geelong. Picked up and kicked forward for them here by Herska. And down to the half forward line. But it's all Karaya. They clear the ball out wide. Le leading in the uh, race for the ball is large for North Geelong. A good handball backwards there to Nickel. But he fumbles. Socket off the ground by Karaya down to half forward where we see Aldridge 
Scrooge take the ball across the line and we'll have a throw in between the half forward flank and centre wing for the Karaya side. Do you think North John can get it? Well, Ron, you and I have never agreed on anything, so I think I'll go for North. They only got done by four points in the second semi, don't forget, so I think it's going to be a nice, hard, tough, close game. Well, yeah, I reckon it will be too, Baz, as we see now the ball kicked off the ground. He was caught one a little bit high there. I think you'll find that North Geelong player. And uh, he'll get the free kick on the out of side halfback flank. And it looks like the big fella in Matthew Polder will take the free kick for the Pies. It's just noticing, Baz, there's a slight breeze, isn't there, out there with the flags blowing to this uh, Melbourne into the ground? Yes, there is. The ball kicked up to half forward. A good mark taken over there for North Geelong by Nickel. Plays on quickly. Gets it down over and running the ball. Uh, Trevor Askin for the uh, North Geelong side. A handball out. Sees North tap it further forward uh, by... Uh, Tarjani. Been but busy, hasn't he? He has been busy. A kick forward for them now by her, uh, what would you say, Ruska? Yeah, yeah, I'd call that Ruska best. He's had uh, three or four uh, possessions down there, but they uh, haven't been clear, and he just can't sort of manage any distance on the ball, can he, Ron? No, he cannot. And don't forget, 94.9 FM is guest FM. Looking after country football in 95 for the Geelong District Footy League. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the call of the under-18 game. As we see that there's been a free kick uh, out there in the halfback flank uh, for the Carrillo side. I think you'll find it could be racing, is it? Take no, it. Ruck. Ruck it was. The big fella out there to centre wing. At ground level. Good work there too by young Foran. He's kick up there looking for the uh, the uh, dash of Alford. Alfred though is beaten for on that occasion. Chipping in with uh, Polder again. Gives it across to a team at the middle of the ground. The vice captain and Jamie Hutchison. Hand feeds off the hand pass. That's OK to Nathan Tab. Tabby's drop punt goes short. Looks there to the lead at centre-half forward. Coming out oh, strongly good to Lockwood. Good boy. Got it across to his teammate in Hutchison. Now they need a, a long kick, but his handball puts his uh, pa uh, teammate there in Lockwood under a bit of pressure. And the Carrillo Devils now will defend well. No, Lockwood's back in there. Gets the ball out wide. Oh, good pick up here for North Geelong there by uh, Dracovic. Dracovic. Yep, that's young Stevie Dracovic, son, in Mark. And uh, Dracovic... Uh, a famous name out at North Geelong, Baz. Right, the ball's uh, marked in the back line there for uh, Kariah by King. Goes straight across the ground, looking for the big ruckman in ruck. He, he's uh, beaten to it, though, by McNamara. McNamara falls over at the vital stage. The ball's picked up here for North Geelong. Shovel towards the boundary. Ruck picks it up. Kicks down towards centre wing. Running onto the ball for Kariah. Here we have Alford. Taps it further forward. Going across for North Geelong and taking the ball across the line was Matthew Polder. And we'll have a throw in centre wing. Yes, it's a terrific crowd here, and uh, I'm sure they'll see a great game. Once the uh, sun starts to peek its head through the uh, a bit of cloud cover, it'll just take the, the dew off the, the, the surface of the ground as we see the boundary throw on that outer side set of wing. Back of the pack there was Dejani again. Tap forward, there's been a whistle on play, and it looks like uh, um, by Munro it is. Congratulations to the uh, men in white out there too, officiating in Graham Munro and Peter Jones. And uh, umpire Munro has suggested that, yep, young Tajani has... Uh, Held it out the footy and Dave Tajani gets the free kick for the uh, fabulous Magpies. Right from centre wing, he drives down towards half forward flank. Up they fly, going very high. There was uh, Traveski, but he couldn't mark it. Karaya with handball across half back, kicked the ball in towards the centre where we see it uh, bouncing here. Oh, missed there by. Uh, for Karaya by Hayes but he gets it across towards the centre wing going through strongly for the Karaya side we have Rayson uh, gets the ball out towards the uh, centre wing but it's picked up here for North Geelong they kick it forward Mark Senar forward played on one bounce here and it is Westcombe as it kicks the ball long towards the goal line running back but the flight of the ball for North Geelong was Aitken but he couldn't control it it comes out in a quick snap for North Geelong by Lockwood good play North Geelong and he's brought up the first six pointer for the North Geelong side here today and it was good play down there in the forward line between Aitken and Lockwood which resulted in that goal. Young Corey has done a good job early stages of the 95 grand final for the North Geelong Magpies and they've now drawn second blood of the morning their one straight goal six points and uh, the Corrales side 117 on a guest video first quarter scoreboard don't forget 94.9 fm is country footy the bounce of the ball in the center up they go tap down for north along here by mccall they kick it forward towards an hour forward but oh the mark spilt there for karai he's bumped off the ball too picked up and kick forward for north along down towards a forward pocket racing onto the ball here if he can control it no he can't there he overran it and that was hutchison it's here for karai they kick it towards the center wing picked up here for north along by large 
Page. He's kicked towards a forward pocket. Out come Karaya. Couldn't take the mark. He's uh, under pressure down there. All being held was a North Geelong player. Lockwood's in there again for North Geelong, but is carried open line by the Karaya defence in the agency of Matthew King. Yeah, Matt, he's been quite uh, busy there too in defence, doing well for the Karaya side. But he's going to be for a busy morning, I'd suggest, because the Magpies, they're really thumping the ball up forward and... Uh, They've got it up there again at the moment, as we see in that ruck contest. Aiken, loose ball now, sees the defence stand firm for the Devils, clearing, kick the centre-half back. In front, couldn't take the football, clearly on that occasion it was Westgarden, but the now loose ball, sees it spill. Opportunity there for the big fella. Can he pick it up? No, he can't in Boulder, and it's kicked off the carpet by the Karayo defender. Right, picked up here for North Geelong uh, by... Uh, Tarjani on half back. It's given across to a teammate who ran too far, the umpire oh, said. Oh, you've got and, to be taken. Uh, a free kick will be taken for Karaya on centre wing by Barry O'Toole. He took four paces. <laughs> well, it's early in the morning, Ron. Right now we're waiting for O'Toole, centre wing for Karaya to drive the ball forward. A lovely kick down towards a pocket. They fly down there. Couldn't uh, take the mark. It comes to ground level where we see Rose, but it's picked up here for Karaya by Nichols. Kicks towards goal. Good defending there. In the last line of defence for North Geelong. Sees it go through for one point. And that big fella was wrong. The big fella there was David Nichols on the left foot. The number 16 Guernsey. Looks a likely type two. He's been picked up by Matty Corbett. As we see the full back now, bring the ball in from defence. Up there for the Pies, to the members' side of the ground, attacking side of the ground, I'd suggest. Great smother there from Rose. Rose goes back in after the leather. Teammate supporting him there was Nickel, who uh, slipped at the crucial time, lost the footy, let a boundary throw in. About 40 metres from the Carayo goal. We've been going 11 and a half minutes of the first quarter of the 95 Division 1 under 18 Grand Final, Geelong District footy. And uh, the scoreboard shows Carayo 8. They lead. North Geelong, six. Right from the throw-in is picked up here in defence for North Geelong by Hutchison. Runs across our back line. Kicks wide out towards the far side of the ground. Leading in the race for the ball is Westcombe. He's got uh, trouble here because Cockrell's come in and socket the ball away from him over the line. And we'll have a throw-in centre wing far side of the Western Oval here. Uh, this early game this morning between Carayo and North Geelong in the uh, grand final of the Division 1 under-18s. The boundary umpire brings the ball back into play. Up, are they, up they go. Knocked down there for North Geelong by Westcombe. Picked up here for Carayo uh, by Hayes. He's dodging. Gets his short kick round the corner where it's picked up by a teammate there in the agency of King. He's kicked towards centre-half forward. Roving the pack well was McNamara, but uh, he's been grabbed and a free kick will be taken by McNamara from a centre-half forward or between half-forward flank and centre-half forward. Just having a quick look now, Barry. I haven't seen a lot of those sides, but uh, North uh, Geelong... Seem to be a little smaller in stature, don't they, than the Carreo, sir? Well, I was going to go the other way, Ron. I thought they've got about two or three big fellas in North Geelong. And they uh, have, they have. The jumpers, too, I think. Maybe I think make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not a very good kick there into uh, the forward line that's marked for North Geelong by Han Houston. And it's, it's, it's picked up here and running through the pack there nicely was Tarjani, uh, who has received a free kick between the centre and centre half back. He's been lively, Ron. Yes, he certainly has, and there's a lot of talent out here this morning, I tell you. Lovely foot pass, too. Hits Walshy right on the chest. Walsh oh, plays on. Kick. A lovely pass up to half forward and sets up his teammate in Dragovic. And Mark Dragovic, though, oh. his kick on that occasion off the side of the boot. And young Marco wouldn't be too happy with that, nor would Father Steve. No, it wouldn't be too good because that was a good uh, thrust forward by the North Geelong side. Kick from half back by uh, Karaya down here. Up they fly, or the big fella there couldn't take control of it. Nichols. Picked up here for North Geelong, a handball out wide where we see Nickel with it. He kicks into the man coming towards him, which was uh, Ruck. Picked up and handball forward for Karaya here by Troy Rose. But it's all North Geelong. But going through strongly was a Karaya player there. Interferes and the free kick will be taken by Tab for the North Geelong side. Centre wing on the grandstand side. Nathan Tab now the kick. A real worm burner on that occasion. Not a good kick because he made it hard there for Travascus. And oh, now here he comes. The skipper, the leader of the band, David oh, Hayes. Good play. Lovely foot uh, ball. Left foot kick straight down the throat of his centre half forward in David. Nichols and Nichols has got an opportunity here 35 metres out directly in front and I reckon he'll bring up his first for the morning. Didn't he do that well Hayes? He attacked the ball and got the rewards. Drop putty. He didn't kick through the football at all there Baz. He tried to guide it through and he's offline. A second point off the boot of David Nichols this morning for the Crow side. They now move to 1-3-9. 
North Geelong, one straight goal, six points on 94.9. Guest FM. Right, the fullback for North Geelong to bring this ball back in favours the uh, straight down the centre. He's gone. Up they fly there. And a good mark. No, it wasn't taken for Karaya there by King. Brought to ground. Players at the bottom of the pack. It's uh, scooped out here for Karaya, where we see it picked up there for them by Rose. He gives it back to a teammate oh. in Rutherford, who's met very solidly uh, after he's, or just as he's kicked the ball. Not much in it as far as I'm concerned, but the relay free kick will stand. Oh, no. Well, that was a bit tough on the youngster. Uh, the first order off for the morning, it's against North Geelong. And, uh, well... Oh, a little bit a of little... clapping going on. Yeah. <laughs> and that's... Uh, could cost, you know, grand finals, these unfortunate decisions from umpires, because I don't think there was a lot in it. Certainly there was a free kick against him. And it's David Chajani who's been a great contributor for the North Geelong side. And... Uh, that's a bit unfortunate for him. Yes, and there's a couple coming off, I think, for the blood rule here too, Ron, is it? Or number 21 for North Geelong, Nickel coming off. And for Carrio. Yeah, we've got Stokey coming, Stokey coming on. No. And, uh, coming Just off is uh, Rutherford. Still, it can't be blood because the game's going on. As the ball's kicked towards the forward line, picked up here for uh, North Geelong, uh, for Carrio rather, by Stranger, and he's kicked towards the forward pocket. They set themselves down there. Ball comes to turf, rush through 4-1 behind for the Carrio side. OK, we're well back to the footy. Players have settled out, and uh, as I mentioned, nothing really in that at all for mine, but uh, unfortunately for the North Geelong side, Dave Tajani having a rest. Right, the kick in from full back is marked here in the back pocket by Tab for North Geelong. Tab now drives him around the towards half back flank. The big fella there in number 10 couldn't take a good mark over the back, taken by Weathers for the Carrillo side. Right now, the kick forward towards the uh, forward line. Up they fly down there. No one can take the mark at the bottom of the pack for Karaya. We have King. He has a quick kick towards goal. Straight across the face. Out of bounds on the full. And the relieving kick to be taken by Hutchison for North Geelong in the back pocket. Now, it's important from a North Geelong point of view here, Barry, that they've really got to work a lot harder. They're one man short. And they've got to try and control uh, the Karaya uh, forward movements now. And I'm sure that the coach in Steve Jansen will have... Uh, a plan of attack there. There's a nice kick has been uh, made there by young Hutchison, the vice captain. He's kicked it right out the half back. Oh, good play, Westcom. Yes, he's been busy also for those fabulous mag by Stevie Westcom. And uh, he's kicked it off the carpet, picked up a good 35 metres for his side. And it's just run over the line and out of bounds, uh, out of sight centre wing here of the Western Oval. Right, the ball to be thrown in the Ruckman there for North Geelong. We've got McCall against uh, Ruck. Up it goes. Uh, it's tapped to the ground over the back of the pack where it's picked up for Carrillo by King. King's kick uh, towards the far side of the ground is marked over there for them. Plays on quickly. Kicks the ball towards centre half forward looking for a big mark here. Up they go. Uh, tapped down here by Hutchison, but it's all Carrillo on the bottom of the pack. Throws the ball out and it's picked up by a teammate. Round the corner he goes. Good defensive play, North Geelong. He's come straight through. He was held for mine, but no free kick. Hutchison in there again for North Geelong. Picks the ball up nicely, dodges, weaves, get a handball out to his teammate, gets the ball uh, to boot out here towards centre wing on the uh, grandstand side. Good pick up for North Geelong. Good handball over the top. That was good handball there by Drakovic. He's kicked down and a relayed free kick will be paid to uh, Travaskis. He's kicked towards the forward line. Onto the ball now we have Aiken. Aiken picks it up a little bit slow, drops it when uh, grabbed. Umpire calls play on. Karaya through the agency of King go across half back, chip it out wide teammate on the far side of the ground has taken the uh, mark. Plays on quickly too, goes in board looking there for his teammate in Ruck, takes a fine grab Danny Ruck, plays on quickly not a good kick, oh luck's a fortune Clint Etrich comes onto the footy oh, looks up play. there for uh, Stranger but knocked away well there was uh, Rusker and uh, he's clearing kick, goes to the 50 metre line but again, a nice mark taken, and I think you'll find us that number eight, Guernsey and Roger King. He's kicked down forward, and a good mark taken down there for Karai by the big fella in the forward pocket. Have to wait for him to turn around, Ron. Number yeah. 16 it is, and this is David Nickel. Can he kick him from the uh, boundary line? Well, he probably will, though, uh, Barry, because he doesn't like him in front of goal. McDamara for Karai just uh, hobbled off the ground, too, helped by uh, two trainers. Yes, disappointing there for that youngster as the kick this time. It appears it's gone to the right of the big stick. Yes, it has. Three points off the boot of David Nichols here this morning in the 1995 Under-18 Division 1 Geelong District Football League Grand Final. 
Chirayo now 1-5-11. Lead North Geelong, one straight goal, six points. Wasting a few opportunities, Chirayo down forward. A lovely kick out from fullback, but it's nicely marked here. Played on quickly by Rayson. He shot towards goal, and he's off target too. Wasn't much pressure on the boy, and he's kicked uh, one behind. Well, Stinger didn't have quite the, uh, the buzz in the old uh, kicking boot that time, did Stinger Rayson. And again, another costly miss from 30 metres. Right, no, another lovely kick in for North along here by Polder. Out towards the 50 metre line, picked up by a teammate there who kicks the ball towards the centre. Lovely pass has found Drabarowski. He from the centre now, looking for something up forward. They haven't got it. They've got to get the numbers back there. They're playing one short, don't forget, as it goes up there. Coming through strongly for him there was Lockwood. He couldn't control it. Kariah, lovely pick up here. Good kick out towards the centre wing, but it's North along in the van here. Take the mark, play on quickly, kick down round the corner, and the mark's been taken down here by Drabowski and that kick forward was by Nathan Tab. Plays on quickly in towards the centre. Teammate here, Walsh has got it. He's under pressure, tried to bounce the ball. One on three here, Kariah bottle it up and we'll have a ball up as the siren sounds to end the first quarter here as we see Kariah, one goal, 6-12, leading Notch along one straight goal. Yes, Baz, goal kickers for both sides. Uh, one apiece to Alan Alford for Kariah kicking theirs and Corey Lockwood for North Geelong. And I tell you what, Karai could have kicked themselves out of it. Yes, uh, not very good kicking. You know, they uh, had the ball up there probably two-thirds of the quarter and they just couldn't kick the majors. They only kicked one. Good defence, though, by North Geelong. And I think North Geelong can be very pleased with their first quarter effort in holding Karai to one goal, six. Yes, certainly, Baz. They were one man short there for the last five minutes of that term. Great effort of, uh, from those fabulous magpies. We'll be back with the action of the second quarter shortly. Welcome back to the action here of the second quarter. Just commencing as Carayo go deep into attack. Good footy there from young Cockrell. And coming out strongly for the Devils, Brett Rutherford. Uh, and Brent now an opportunity here from a good 45 metres. And uh, Barry, this will test him. Yes, uh, Ron, that was a good start, though, by Carayo. Right from the centre bounce, they've gone forward. Now as he comes in from centre forward, a lovely drop punt kick to the 10-yard square. Up they fly. Knocked to the ground by the North Geelong defenders. Tapped away there for them by uh, Han Han Usti as we see it come down towards the half-back flank. Oh, overrunning the ball there for North Geelong was Westcombe. Allows Carayo to come in. Uh, free kick being paid here to the Carayo on half forward and it will be taken for them by Roger King. King's kick towards the pocket. Handball after the mark there by um, number seven in Cockrell. Gives it across to a teammate. A shot towards goal there taken by Barry O'Toole. He's uh, bumped as he kicks the ball. The umpire deems it was after he kicked it and uh, the ball had gone through for one point but it's been brought back to the forward pocket and O'Toole will have another shot for goal. Well, Baza, he's been a prolific goal kicker for the Devils this season. Kicked about 65, 70, I think you'll find. He shouldn't have too many problems here. There's not much of him, Ron. He's only a little fella. Yes, but he's got a good football ability, good skills, and uh, a good head on his shoulders like most of the O'Tools have. Brother of Miko and, of course, Marco. Right, comes in now from uh, close to the boundary line. Oh, beautiful kick off the boot. And it swung nicely for him too. Brings up his first goal for the day. And Correa, no, he's off. He's off. Oh. I tell you what, wipe your glasses, BJ. There you go. He's just missed it to the left of the big stick. It looked pretty good from here, Baz, as you called it. <laughs> Two points off the boot of Barry O'Toole. Right, the kicking from full back over the back of the pack. It comes picked up here for uh, North Geelong by uh, Draco. Drakovic as it comes round here to a centre wing and it's marked here for them in the uh, on centre wing. Kick down towards half uh, half forward now, tapping the ball forward as it goes over the line. It was Lockwood for North Geelong. He was hotly chased there by uh, Stoko for Carayo. Here yeah, Stoko coming on replacing McNamara in uh, late in that, for that first quarter. As we see the ball now, centre wing members. Oh, nice side. tap out. Yeah, good work there from the Carayo Ruckman and Danny Ruck. Got it down the ground, and he was aptly named, isn't he, that Ruckman? He is here. We have one on four for North Geelong. Going through there strongly was large, and uh, he's still in there battling. Now he's got some support, but umpire Munro is going to come in and pull it up, just as North Geelong were on their way with the uh, football from centre wing. Karai seem to have the numbers at the ball, Ron. Yeah, they do. They have uh, a very good running brigade, and, uh, well, the scoreboard shows that Karai 13 points lead at North Geelong, six points. Early stages of the second quarter in the 95 under 18 Division 1 GDFL Grand Final. 
Right from the uh, ruck, we see it tapped out here towards the centre wing where it's North Geelong picked the ball up. Oh, a little bit slow, caught with the ball. Oh, late decision, umpire Munro, but uh, it was there. And the free kick will go to O'Toole for Karai. Plays on quickly, got a loose man down here. Half forward flank, picks the ball up, kicks on uh, quickly in ruck, down towards a pocket. But a good mark in defence for North Geelong, taken by... Uh, Hanusi, is it, Ron? Or uh, Hansi? Hanusin, Hanusin it is. Hanusin's kick, a nice one. An opportunity now for uh, Huskra there. Huskra, Ruska, I should say, picks the footy up and lovely pass to the lead there of his North Geelong forward and uh, Travaskas. He handballs on quickly to a teammate there in Nicol the captain. He bombs it up there to the teeth of goal. But I tell you what, that defence of Correa stands firm. Desperate. Yep, very desperate indeed. And... Uh, Let's just hope that the vice captain Jamie Hutchison for North Geelong is okay. He's in the hands of the trainers here at the centre wing. May have hurt the elbow as he got tackled in that last encounter, but he's okay. Right, we see the ball down in the forward line for uh, North Geelong. The bounce of the ball, up they go. Tap down here by Karaya. They've got the numbers of the ball. Oh, kick, his kick was rushed there, and King goes nowhere. And uh, comes out here to walk towards half back, but a free kick has been picked out here by Empire Munro, and it will go to North Geelong, and it will be taken for them there by Large. Yeah, was large. Nails is his name to his uh, post mates. He's kicking from about the same distance as Nickel uh, had a shot in the first quarter, and he's drifted to the left, so it'll be very yeah. interesting, right? Well, I reckon with the nickname of Nails, he'll probably nail this one right through the high diddle diddle. But look, I've mostly kid, he's got under that one a little bit. It's gone to the right uh, forward pocket. At ground level, Hutchison there, quick hands. Looks there for Aitken. He can't control a footy. And uh, it's again out of bounds, about 10 metres from the North Geelong goal. <coughs> Early stages, about three and a half minutes gone to the second quarter. Five points the margin, Cryo in the lead. Right from the ruck, it's taken by Weathers, where it comes out to halfback. Oh, caught with the ball was a Cryo player there. Another uh, Cryo player comes through, but couldn't control it. On hands and knees, he's still after it. Gets his handball out to Hayes. This is Joel Hayes. He's kicks towards centre wing, uh, where we see a bit of jostling going on here. The mark not taken for North along by Walsh. Comes to ground where they kick it forward, and another free kick down the field. Or is he going to bring it back, Ron? Which way are we going? No, it'll be down the ground, and uh, young Dragovic was uh, flattened as he got rid of the ball. I didn't think there was a lot in it, but uh, anyway, North Geelong have got it through Dabrowski now. Right, Dabrowski kicks a lovely kick from the uh, 50 metre line, but it's touched through. Oh, free kick picked out for North Geelong uh, by the umpire, and it's going to be taken down there by Hutchison, is it? Umpire suggesting there was a push. Well, Darren Aitken doesn't mind. The big spearhead for the North Geelong side. Right on the goal line, a real opportunity here. And they've come from everywhere here this afternoon. We've even got the trainers from the Anarchy Footy Club down here. Lovely to see the smiling face of the lovely girl. Well, I can't get over it, Ron. There's an enormous crowd here for under-18 football this time of the morning. Yeah, great stuff from Dad. Uh, well, Danny Aitken comes in. Get on you, Darren, and he kicks his first and uh, puts North Geelong within one point now of the Devils. That was good play all round there. The kick uh, from the free kick uh, was put to the 10 yards square. He centred the ball, gave his uh, teammates a chance, and uh, Cry with a little bit of a nudge got caught, and the goal resulted. The ball back in the centre. Back in the centre with the umpire, puts it to turf. Up they go, Ruckman there, the big fella for Karaya in uh, Ruck gets a tap down, picked up by Hayes, Joel Hayes kicks the ball down towards Fort line, roving the pack there for Karaya was Rutherford, but he couldn't take it, kicked out of defence there by Westcombe, out towards the uh, halfback flank, over the line it goes before his teammate could get to it in uh, Poulter, and we'll have a throw in over near the scoreboard at the uh, West Nova where we see Karaya, one goal, 7-13, and North Geelong, two goals, straight 12. OK, now let's have a look where the footy is, it's about 40 metres from the Correa goal. Up they go down, she comes through, all pushed there, could have been a free kick there to Eldridge, no free kick there forthcoming from umpire Munro. As we see the ball now, spill out where the direction of Bazaro too. Quick hands to Joel Hayes, well Ooh, collared. He was collared and put the ball to turf on. Defence there stands firm there for the North Geelong side. Kick well smothered though off the boot of Ruska. Now Bazaro too from 30, oh. well tackled. Great Tr tackle there for the Pies. Tried to do too much, uh, Ron, and got caught. And a free kick's been picked out. And uh, I think the yellow card. And I think it's O'Toole after he got tackled. I think he uh, went, went on with it. And he was picked up by umpire Munro. And the long walk to the... Uh, 
boundary line fence. Well, that's going to be a bit of a loss for Karaya eh? because Bazza has been quite busy up there on the forward line and now it's even money. They've both got one player off the ground. It's not too long so far since their player's been sent off. I, th I think have coped quite well. So it'll be interesting now to see how Karaya adapt and uh, see what they can uh, come up with. Right now, the free kick to be taken from the back line. Kicks it down towards half back between half back and the centre wing. Up they fly over there for Karai. was Alford. He couldn't take the mark. A free kick uh, been picked out for North Geelong and will be taken over on half back flank. The yeah, Adam Walsh, I think. Little aggro, they call it. Agro with a very short crop of hair on his oh, head as well. Kick. Lovely foot pass and finds Mark Dragovic out there at centre wing. Dragovic now takes his time, looks up the ground, long kick to half forward. Now an opportunity for Correa, they couldn't take the ball. Now the big fella, centre half forward comes through in Travascus. He's got support, kicked up forward, trapped by Aitken, spills to Hutchison. The vice captain spills oh, around good the corner. Play. Great mark on the run with the flight of the football, Corey Lockwood. And Lockwood kicks his second goal this morning and puts those fabulous magpies in front. Yes, that was a good play, North Geelong. Hutchison got the ball over there on the half-forward flank. Uh, his main intention, I think, was to centre the ball, to get, as I say, to give his teammates a chance to run on to it. That's what Lockwood did. Took the mark running with the flight of the ball, as you said, Ron, and brought up six points. Yeah, great football and uh, well set up there by Agro at half-back, young Adam Walsh with a fine foot pass to centre wing and uh, well the rest is the history gentlemen a six pointer on the board to North Geelong and they now move to three straight goals 18 points they lead Karaya 1-7-13 right from the bounce it's Hutchison again who rose it kicks it down towards half forward going through strongly though for Karaya was Weathers taps the ball forward into the centre of the ground picked up here for them and kicked forward again by Weathers but his kicks marked down on half back flank by Nickel for the North Geelong side he kicks out wide and has got a teammate out there in Tab Tab now she goes around uh, towards half forward. Oh, beats three or four players. Goes through their legs, and, uh, attacking the ball nicely there. Four Karaya was a big fella in uh, Rose, and he takes the ball across the line on half back flank. Opportunity now for North Geelong. It's on the half forward line, out of sight of the ground. Over the back of the pack, the high fly. Good work there from Matty Polder. Ground level, quick kick up forward, but I think he's kicked it a little bit wide. Out of bounds on the full it is, and Karaya now can defend. And I think you'll find it large. Be the big fella. Large had the kick. Large it was now with the football now. It looks like I think you'll find it's Troy Rose. He kicks up there looking for a teammate. Knocked to ground of OG. Two hands, Roger King. He went without the footy. Got good support there from Weathers. Weathers kicked now to centre wing. A whistle on play. I think you'll find yes, it's against Carayo. And Nathan Tab takes the free kick for the uh, fabulous Magpies. As the sun comes out here at the Western Oval, he drives down towards half forward. Oh, good defensive play by Rose for Karaya, but his kick is marked over there or by uh, Walsh, is it? And number four, Adam Walsh. Yep, Agro, it is. Yep, Agro. On centre wing has taken the mark. Goes around the flank now. Up they fly down there. It's all Karaya. Sump forward for them. Racing onto the ball. Here's the defence of Karaya. Good play there. A blocking play by McCall for North Geelong. Held it up for a while, but it comes out where we see Joel Hayes get it. From centre. Kicks the ball long down towards half forward. Up they fly. Oh, good defensive play. North Geelong. Tap the ball forward. Runs onto a good handball by that player. I'll pick him up in a minute, but Joel Hayes goes through and is pushed in the back. Yeah, and the free that? kick uh, will be taken by Hayes. And Bobby. that North Geelong play. Ron. Bobby Hanhusen, mate. Uh, Hanhusen was uh, the defender who did well. Now, Tajani is back on the ground again, too, for the North Geelong side after being sent off uh, midway through the first term. Carayo into attack. Opportunity now, Danny Ruck. Punts it up there to the pocket. Good work on his left side of his body was, uh, that looks like Danny Stranger. He got it to a teammate. Quick shot there at goal, Alfred. He caught one a bit high for mine. Umpire said yes after the ball went, so it goes down the ground. And an opportunity here for the Carayo centre-half forward in David Nichols to uh, register his first. He's not had much luck in front of goal. He's kicked three points today. This time he makes no mistake. The big centre-half forward and pops to his first, David Nichols. Yes, uh, the, he, he took the mark in the square run, so uh, it was good play by Carayo. They fought very hard there in the pocket to get that ball forward. And the result was that Nichols has kicked the goal and uh, made this game very, very interesting. Certainly has, Barry, as we see that the second quarter on Guest FM, 94.9, is country footy out here at the Western Oval. Carayo 2 7 -19. They're one point in front of North Geelong, three straight goals, 18 points. 
Right now, waiting for the ball to come back to the centre. Hayes is starting to pick up a few kicks around the centre of the ground. Yes, and, that's uh, the vice captain number three with those long locks and those white bike pads, Barry. Yes, Ron, where were they in our day? They'd be very handy, wouldn't they? They would have been. At any rate, from the centre bounce, good ruck work. So he's a tap down and kick forward for uh, Karaya there by Ruck. Goes down on. Nice pick up down the hill also by Strang Stranger. He's kick out towards the pocket where it didn't come off, but it's all north along now. Race towards the ball. Take it across the line through the agency of Walsh. And we'll have a throw in half forward flank right in front of the grandstand here at the Western Oval. Yeah, ball's about 70 metres now from the Karaya goal. You've got... Uh the number 23 Guernsey for North in Corbett doing battle over the back of the back Joel Hayes but at ground level doing well for North Geelong Matty Polder but his kick on this occasion under a little bit of pressure and unfortunately for the youngster he's popped it over the line on the full and uh, has got an opportunity now for the Carrillo side through the youngster Troy Rose. Right, Rose has kicked down to the half forward line, taken off the pack here and kicked forward for them uh, by Nichols. And that's Shark down forward there and sock it off the ground. Here's a chance off the ground there for Kariah by the number five Guernsey and Daniel Stranger. And he has brought up another goal to the Kariah side. But it was young Aldridge, I thought, who initially got that ball forward to give his teammate the chance to sock it off the ground. Yeah, in order to long defence, they're caught, caught napping at the back of the pack there, Baz. The ball was bouncing rather awkward so uh, it was a bit tough but they've got to have someone behind there was two Kariah players there, it was a raffle and he just got balled a boot because it was bouncy from one side to the other and uh, a nice goal there off the boot of Daniel Stranger and he kicks the Kariah's third goal this morning, they now move to 3-7-25 leading North along three straight goals, 18 points 7 points to march. From the centre we see up she goes again, it's uh, tapped down again by Karai but sharked in the centre for North Geelong, a quick kick forward and it's marked for him by Tajani, he's kick smothered, Joel Hayes again in there for Karai picks the ball up, weaves gets a handball out wide, taken here for North Geelong, across the ground there by Corbat and uh, he's got it to a teammate where we see it picked up by Large, Large is kicked down forward but a good defensive mark taken for Karai down there by Rayson, he has one bounce across half back, comes out towards the centre wing, gives his uh, teammate a chance to run onto it, oh good solid play there for North Geelong by Lockwood, handballs to his teammate now in uh, Walsh Walsh kicks down forward, off oh, over the shoulder for mine and the free kick to be taken down here, half forward flank for North Geelong and uh, this is a big fella in Darren Aiken Yep, the full forward for those fabulous magpies, he's 50 metres out goes short, good vision doesn't gain a lot of distance, but young Tajani, what a welcome return to the ground is this fella. He's been probably the best player on the ground for mine to date. Had a spell for 15 minutes, comes back on fresh. Lovely kick up to the teeth of goal. There's a whistle on play, and I think you'll find that uh, there's been an infringement to a Korea defender. Cockrell? Cockrell it is, gets the free kick. Cockrell now from the 10-yard square will uh, repulse this... North Geelong attack. He's out here looking for a teammate on centre wing or he went before acceptance in Aldridge. Ball comes towards Turf. So kick forward. Here we see North Geelong through Walsh get it. Handball over the top to Adam Walsh. Adam Walsh is kicked towards half forward. Up they fly. It's all Karai. They've got the numbers at the bottom of the pack here. Going in strongly was Aldridge. He gets a handball out to a teammate who drops the ball. <laughs> wing court. Thrown out again by Karai. Persistent play for North Geelong here. Lovely pick up and a good shot for, towards goal by Travaskas. But unfortunately for him, he was offline, and one point is the result. Very agile for a big man, Lee Travaskas. Did it well like a little rover there, but unfortunately just missed to the right side of the big stick as the Devils now defend well, and Cockrell gets the footy at the back pocket. Up they go. Oh, back of the pack. That number eight jumper takes a streamer, Roger King. And up. Mark of the morning for Mike uh, Bazza. Yes, so far, Ron, a good kick towards centre two. His pinpoint accuracy has found a teammate in the centre of the ground through David Hayes. He plays on quickly. Another nice pass down forward to a leading full forward who's taken the mark. Plays on quickly. His kick out towards the, out here towards the uh, forward pocket. The big fella lumbering after it. Uh, Ruck, he has a shot towards goal. Close. Good defensive play, though, by North, North Geelong. Punch the ball through for one point. Geez, they look good when they get that ball moving, uh, Bazza. That ball was red hot then from the back line. Not one North Geelong player touching it. Quite true, Ron. Great footy from the youngsters of the Carrillo side. Ball now brought back into play there, Matty Polder. Oh, he's gone over the line. Yeah, I can see it from here, mate. And, uh, you know, you can't do it. 
Karai have just seemed to settle down into a bit of a pattern here in the last uh, five, ten minutes of this quarter, and they're playing good, creative football. Well, they're running the ball, right? And by running the ball, forces the opponent in front of you to come at you, and then that creates the loose man. And then it just continues on. And uh, by doing that, results will come, and that's what's happening at the moment. I think another part of their game that's picked up too is their, their ki kicking to uh, their teammates is spot on. Yes, it certainly is. Their uh, skills are quite high. That's probably why they're here this morning in the grand final. Right, the bounce of the ball in the 10 yard square, tapped out Shark there for Cariah, but he's missed, and that was da Daniel Stranger, and one point is the result. One goal, one Danny Stranger's personal tally here this morning. Three goals, 9.27 now, Cariah. Lead North to on 3-1-19 on Guest FM 94.9, covering GDFL football for 95. At the Western Oval, covering the Division 1 Under-18 Grand Final. Waiting on the North Geelong fullback now, Matty Polder to bring it back into play. Lex to come to the member's side of the ground. Right, the kick out towards half-back. They set themselves out here. Comes to turf at the bottom of the package. Carrier again uh, through the agency of Troy Rose, who kicked the ball forward. And Joel Hayes has drifted down from the centre into the pocket and has taken a mark approximately, what, 20 metres out on a 45-degree angle. Been a big improvement too for the Devils. And the uh, centre square bounces, getting it out and even done some good work at half-back. Yes, uh, he has ignited him this quarter and uh, with the help of uh, the big fellas and they're getting first use of the ball. Well now, this time, young Joel Hayes, he's about 30 metres out from goal, 45 degree angle. Oh, Ooh, he's jabbed at it again. But in defence of the players, the, the footing in the pockets isn't real good. It's a bit uneven. I was just going to say, it looks a little bit wet down there, Ron. There's another wet patch here in the centre and across on the far side, there's a couple of uh, damp patches. Uh, whether they've put a bit of water on it or not, I don't know. But they're a little bit boggy. They certainly are. Now, the ball brought back into play Siren. again by Polder. Siren sounds to terminate the first half of football here in the 95 Division 1. Under-18 Grand Final and at half-time. Carrillo go in with a nine-point advantage. They're three goals, 10, 28 points, leading North Geelong three goals, 119, and goal kickers buzzer for the uh, first half of the for the first half, we've got uh, for Karai, Daniel Stranger has kicked one, Alan Alford one, David Nichols has kicked one, going cross for North Geelong, Corey Lockwood has kicked two, and Darren Aitken has kicked one. OK, better players, as we mentioned earlier, Joel Hayes in that first half of footy. Uh, let's have a look. Young Eldridge has been busy at the, at, at the base of the packs. Cockrell in defence has done well. Bazaro O'Toole prior to being sent off on the forward line has been busy. Very impressed with Dave Nichols at centre half forward and likewise uh, uh, Danny Ruck has done some great work on the ball for the Carrillo side. North Geelong, Jamie Hutchison, terrific. And uh, Nathan Tabb and young Agro, Adam Walsh been busy. Corey Lockwood for his two goals. And uh, Nails, Wesley Large been quite good. And I've got to make a special mention to Lee Travaskis uh, after uh, some fine work on the half forward line. And Rory Nicholas the skipper, has been in and out of the, the, the game. Likewise, uh, Danny Aitken at full forward with his one goal and been a, a bit of a forward uh, target for them. Yes, Ron, I think you covered that pretty well, the uh, best players for both sides. I thought that first half up until probably the 10-minute mark of that quarter was quite even, but then uh, Carrier got on top and... Uh, They've got a handy lead at half time. Nine points to margin. We'll be back with that third and vital quarter shortly.